Hello guys, Filament version 4 beta was out for almost a week now. It was released in June during Laravel Live UK. And today after doing some experiments with v4 beta and version 3, I want to answer one question. This was the question asked on the channel two weeks ago, but this is more relevant now after some time. What version should you start new projects with? So when version 4 beta was just released, the answer was pretty clear. It was still early days, but now, after a month, is it stable and should you start using that? The good news is that in my experiments, it is pretty stable. I haven't found any major bugs or issues. So here's a project on Filament v4 with some dashboard and user table. And I will show that project in a separate video. Just not sure which channel, Laravel Daily or Filament Daily. But basically, it works. You need to adapt to some syntax changes, but it is usable. However, the question of starting new project or upgrading old project to version 4 is the same question when new Laravel version comes out and then people have to wait for at least a while because of packages or plugins. They're called plugins in Filament. So basically, if you want to use any plugins in version 4, only some of those plugins will be supported. To be honest, I was surprised that quite a lot are already updated to version 4 beta. So if you click here on version 4, you can see 31 results already officially supported. Although version 4 of Filament isn't even released officially out of beta yet. And at the end of this video, I'll try to estimate when it may go out of beta. I don't have official information, but we may guesstimate a bit later. For now, what you need to understand is Filament itself is pretty stable, even in beta version. But if you want to use any plugins, I've made some research and here's the current situation on plugins in first days of July. First, I want to show you one command which would help you to check what plugins that you use in your Filament project are compatible with version 4. So Charlie on Discord shared this curl command and here's the shell gist of his own. So I will link that in the description below, which will show you something like this list of plugins and which are compatible or not compatible. Next, if we take a look at more popular packages, their authors are in progress of updating. So for example, Excel export by Dennis is already supporting version four, you can see here, or for example, very popular shield package for rows and permissions. It doesn't support v4 yet. But if you take a look at the GitHub, there's a branch of 4x. So something is happening here not released yet, but in progress. And here are a few more random tweets with updates. So filament select tree is updated. Also filament simple alerts by the same Dennis. Also most plugins by Lara Zeus are already compatible with v4 beta. Also Lucas Frey pointed that Guava Calendar is already supporting v4 and they're working on other packages. So it is all in progress. And depending on the package complexity, it may be a very easy upgrade just to change the version or if the package touches on some features which were changed in v4 in structure or in syntax, then they may have more work to do and probably will do that after the official release. So basically to answer the question, which version to start with, you need to plan the plugins that you may use. So if you want to go forward and start with v4, make a list of packages potentially you would use and then check if they support v4 beta. And then probably it will be easier for you to continue on v4 out of beta. There will be no more big refactoring, just some polishing and some new features. And if you start on v3 today, it will be more stable, more supported by plugins. But then later you would need to run update script and they do have automatic update scripts. So it may work from the first attempt or there may be more manual work for upgrading. It depends on the projects and the features that you use. And now finally, let's take a guess when v4 will be out of beta because by then probably plugins creators will have to get more active in upgrading. So if you go to the official filament repository and go to projects, there's a project called roadmap. And let's see how many tasks are in progress or in to do for version four. So if we zoom in, we have 35 items on the to do list. Let's actually zoom out to see it better. So yeah, type feature quite a few things like reorderable tree, multi column table sorting, and a few more things, including some bugs here. So quite a few actually things left to do. 
So I would estimate that V4 will come out of beta probably by the end of the summer. Because as I told you in previous videos already, remember filament is not a full-time job for Dan or anyone from the team. They are doing it for free in their spare time, so it's not their main focus. So let's wait for the end of the summer, I guess. Or maybe it will be earlier. If I discover and find something out, I will tell you guys here on YouTube. So subscribe to the channel and let me know in the comments if you start a new project, which version do you start with and why? That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.